Hello and welcome to the Mega Bedvan channel. And I've had a parcel that's arrived. In fact, this morning I had um, some English lessons to do. So in my classroom here. And uh, I had an order that came through from Pro's VSP. And I need to find something to cut that with. There we go, scissors. Well, it's like Christmas. So what could it be? Well, ridiculously big package, but I suppose because the item is quite long, they need to put it in a big box. So we've got a new window wiper for Mega Red Van. And we also have, let me just get rid of this box. We also have something in this envelope which I bought and I've found them, the old ones that I had. So they are the the bolts to to go on the side panel which if you looked in the the last video I fitted. I couldn't find these. The ones that I had are grey and these are black. Well I'm thinking about painting the front panel black so probably that will be a good thing. So I'm going to see if I can fit these and um, they look a bit short actually compared to the the older ones and a window wiper. So I'll fit in my external mic because the neighbours are making a bit of a noise. Uh, someone down the road is revving what sounds like a very powerful motorbike and people next door having a chat so anyway um, so these are the new the new bolts okay and that's the old ones so they're not any different in size the threads the same size so I only use the new ones but I also bought these twist on fastenings some months ago now to fix those I'm going to use some some Loctite because well, I should have used Loctite on the on the other bolts as well, but I didn't. So anyway, uh, I think it might be a good idea to use it on those because they're just twist on, and I don't want them coming undone from the vibrations and things that this fan produces. So I'm going to do a bit of a, a dry run um, using this this side of the uh, panel, but. Uh, could use the other side as well because that's the side I actually repaired because the hole was uh, broken so I'll put that there the thread doesn't protrude an awful amount but uh, I think it might just be enough it's like literally five millimeters but I think that it will push the plastic together so it might be a tad more so what I'll do is I'll stick some some Loctite on that The idea is not to get any Loctite on the camera or on my van. So that might be enough. Now I'm going to have fun putting that in to the hole and then tightening that up at the other end. So, so we'll stick that in. Fiddly. and then we'll do it up the other end ah. why is it so much easier when you can actually see what you're doing ah, it's on it's on and then when you come to do it it's more difficult so I'm not sure how much to tighten that because I don't want to snap the plastic Let's do it hand tight for now. There we go. And that's a lot more solid. So I think we'll we'll do the other side. Um, I'll film that because that's the side I repaired. Um, where have I put the, the lock tight? So again, another dry run. And let's undo it from the, the nut. 
So that's the side I've repaired some months ago. If I remember rightly, that's not tight, it's not actually square, it's sort of slightly oblong, so it doesn't fit in. And I'm no, we'll put it under the rubber, I think. I guess that would be okay. Uh, I've got to put the Loctite on. I've mislaid that as well. I bet I've left it over there. No, it's in my hand. Spread that on as before. It's all over the, all over the tarmac. Ah, put too much on. I'll pop that down there. Lock tighting my fingers. So we'll see if we can get that in. There's always going to be one side that's going to be more difficult than the other. And because I've put the rubber... Right, we'll do that. I'll have to hold it in and get locked tight everywhere. Hang on. So that was a bit of a pain. It seems I have to push it in towards the left and then it goes in. If I try to push it in just to, if I'm on the right hand side of the hole I try to push it in, it won't go in. So I think we've got enough Loctite on that. I don't know, I might put a bit on that side. So I'm going to try again to put that in. Put it behind the rubber. Put my hand in on the left. And there we go, it's in. Now I've got to try to tighten it up with my left hand. So I was meant to think that I wasn't going to get that in. And of course it's fiddly again because I've got tired to load my fingers. It's quite slippy stuff, you know, stuff that's supposed to go sticky and stop things from being undone. No, I'm struggling here to get it onto the head of the... So much my idea of making it so I can remove the front panel. No, it's all slippy. Let's give my hands a wipe. And that a wipe as well. I'm going to try again. Push a bit more and take my time. Of course, the fastenings I bought aren't designed to fit onto these bolts. They were just bought online at a famous online store. But they just happened to be the right size. And I thought it would be easier, me thinking that things would be easier, to actually use that to tighten up this bolt rather than using the nut that was there before and a spanner. It, it's relatively easier, but it's just annoying that I found that taking this panel off and on is going to be a bit of a challenge, I think. It's not as easy as I thought it was going to be, notably due to, let's just bring you over here, due to those brackets that are down there. So first of all we'll take the window wiper out of its packet, see if it's uh, got the right one. Let's get rid of the roll of tissue. Yep, yeah, it's the right size. So I've had a look on uh, online um, to see how to put one of these on because I've never done it before and the fact that this one is a uh, Sompermi wiper so it might be a bit different to the usual standard ones so if I can just bring you in a bit closer I'll just pop that over there preferably not down the the hole I'm going to have to video this fairly quickly uh, fitting the the window wiper because it's uh, looking a bit horrible up there and we have thunderstorms predicted but also we've got an air show just down the road 
So occasionally we get uh, fighter jets and things coming over and making a very loud noise. So yeah, um, so you've got the washer just here and the, the blade is looking a bit, bit bad actually. Uh, I've never changed it since I bought the van and it's covered in sand from the Sahara rain that we had a few months back. So I'm going to have to see how this comes apart. The only problem is, is that if I pull on it here, I can't pull it any further. So I'm hoping I've got enough sort of recoil to be able to take it off and put the new one on. So what I'll do is I'll do a dry run and then film it. I don't want to have me fiddling about in the rain. So it looks like I'm going to be filming in the dark because you have to lift the bonnet up to, to get this thing out. Um, another snag is that... Uh, can't really show you in any great detail what I'm supposed to be doing here but uh, it seems that you just pull it up and it comes off sorry for knocking you so you can see that so basically this clip is what holds it all in place now I should have the same thing on this one. I'm also conscious of the fact that for some reason the screen on my DJI Osmo is overheating and I don't know why. So when it overheats suddenly the camera stops. Ah, we've got another jet coming over. You probably can't hear it. It would also help if I put my external mic on. Probably. We'll soon see afterwards. So on goes the external mic. So if I pull that out, I could do with cleaning that actually. I can do that afterwards. But just to, to show you what um, I'm supposed to be doing. Um, oh, let me have a look. Is that the same as the, the other one? Yeah, you've got the thing that. So that's supposed to go in. I'm going to end up knuckering my nice new wiper blade. And you can bet I'm not going to be able to put the old one back on again if I can't get this one on. It's not the wrong way round. Oh, it's the wrong way round can't be that way around because the blade will be like that no. right okay I've got a little help to hold my camera for me and sort of law will mean that I probably can't do this right the first time so we're fiddling around with it and he needs to hang on. He needs to go through there, through there, and there we go. You get that for me, camera person? <laughs> okay, so I can put that back on the it doesn't work the same way as the one I've taken off. The one I've taken off had this slidey thing. And this hasn't, it's got, this is plastic and not metal. So I guess it's, well, it'll do. But it's annoying because I've been fiddling around with it and this washer keeps coming off. So I'm hoping it's the right angle to wash because I've been fiddling around with it trying to get it to fit back on again. So if I just do that normally, it's okay. It's in the right place. Right, camera person, I'm going to shut the the bonnet so that's the old one I think I needed to change it because it's all porous down one side so let's close that and then we have a nice new wiper so that's a nice new wiper fitted and this bolt, this side is fitted, all is solid. I dread the day when I have to take the thing off again. 
and here we have excuse the mess on the floor the other one's fitted as well so I think that's the uh, job done so I think that's about it for today because we've got the jets uh, going overhead you probably can't hear them because I've got my external mic on which you can probably hear there and over there it's looking very stormy um, the clouds are closing in and we're heading for a nice storm tonight so I'll stop there before I get all wet so that's that done and uh, hopefully my messing about has actually taught you something and to end with, we had some issues with the camera because it's overheating again. I'm not sure what's what's going on, but uh, when it overheats, you can't see. Ah, no, it's too quick. Getting distracted by jets again. So yeah, when it gets too hot, it switches off the screen, uh, which is a little bit annoying. So if you'd like to head over to the site, uh, at the moment it's called sonimage.space. Uh, I'm going to be renaming it megabreadvan.space and I'm trying to put everything onto one site because before uh, everything was on several sites and there you can find uh, a few photographs of old vehicles I've taken over the years as well as stuff about Mega Breadvan. so thank you very much for watching take care of yourselves and I'll see you again soon bye No, not too close. Not too close. <laughs> so I think that's. Uh... You're going to put me off now, aren't you? So I think that's. I'm going to point over there, and you can film the clouds after. So I think that's it for now. Um, if my camera person can point over there, you can see that uh, the storm is closing in. No, stop it. What's <laughs> that, So I'm heated again. I don't know why it's doing that. No, it's on again now. No, it keeps on saying that. It's still filming, it's just not. So if I. If you, if you do that, then it will come on so if you point it at me that while you can see me and just hold it still